What up, everybody? Welcome to the show. We finally got some new information, so I'm going to hop right into it. No introduction, but dial it in. Here we go. Look, I'm going to show you the first image. Uh, we got a Holoson ACOG right here, and this image is big because it finally reveals something that a lot of people have been kind of talking about, which is a compass. Uh, it's not going to be handheld. It's not going to be anything like that. It's going to be, you know, just basically your UI, which I think is important, guys. We have to be a little immersive here. We don't need to be totally realistic. We have to be able to call out, give direction. It's a big map, right? So I understand this, and I think this is the right move. Very simple, very clean. We also got a waypoint of some degree on here. And then in the top left, we actually have your stamina, I believe is what this side's going to be. And then something else. I don't know if it's your sound or like how, you know, your crouches, like your level of crouch or something else. I don't know if it's health related or whatever, but we got a clean UI up here, right? I'll show you a few more pictures. These are very nice, man. Very nice. It looks good. Some contacts. We got some goggles, two different backpacks. Very, very good image. Then we got the uh, this criminal drug lord or something like this. And I want y'all to focus real quick on the type of armor and stuff. They don't have any. They're very kind of basic. They don't have much defense because that's going to segue right into uh, kind of what this dev blog is about. So let's hop into that. So ballistics. Everyone is uh, going to freak out or... Are currently freaking out about their ballistic system so i'm going to let this run and i'm going to try to explain to you a little bit about what's going on the ammunition at your disposal each is going to have its unique characteristics of real life properties derived from materials comprising of their jacket and core right so soft point rounds are engineered to expand upon impact proving effective against unarmed adversaries right like the criminals we might have just seen maybe like a lower level type of ai right FMJ ammunition is going to excel in penetrating targets efficiently. AP rounds specialize in breaching armored defenses. And then finally, hollow point rounds are going to be crafted to expand upon entry, affecting greater damage and striking kind of a balance between penetration and impact, right? So the projectile simulation includes a variety of detailed aspects. This is cool. Listen, firstly, it accounts for the jacket damage and the detachment. Secondly, it simulates core deformation known as mushrooming. Okay, you'll see that in this video, as well as disintegration. The round has to, you know, come apart, right? Thirdly, considering the bullet's rotation, and it incorporates the ricochet and projectile destabilization physics. Finally, it includes a physical simulation within the human body, all right? Calculating both temporary and permanent cavities and soft tissues and their impact. That is so crazy to me to actually be reading that and witnessing that. So when they compare the type of, you know, soft lead core ammunition of FMJ to a, a tungsten core ammunition AP, you can see that while the soft lead may struggle to penetrate double layered metal fence, the tungsten core rounds go through all of them, multiple barriers until the end. You, so you kind of see the energy fall apart and it didn't make it. So the simulation is going to consider factors like kinetic energy, density, the angle of obliquity, deformation, and the differences between full and partial penetration. <laughs> so... The cavities, dude. We got to see different types of ammunition, right? We got M995, FMJ. I think they had a, a hollow point in there. Beyond the projectile's trajectory, it's the impact that counts, right? Upon striking a target, a bullet's transferred en energy fluctuates depending on its specifications and the composition of the obstacle it's hitting. This involves accounting for factors such as bullet's rotation, deformation, tumbling, and alterations in its behavior after hitting the first barrier, right? If it goes through it, it's going to be a little bit slower, things like that. For instance, firing through a wooden wall may diminish the penetration, but it's going to increase a blunt force trauma. It's a little bit slower, but it's still going to hit you hard. So the ricochet, a lot of people were worried about this, but I don't think it's going to be that scary, guys. Ricochets are going to basically just demonstrate the sophistication of the physics model. They're just flexing right now. That's all they're, they're, they're just flexing on us, dude. It's crazy. Upon the impact with the solid surface at an angle, the model accounts for both the characteristics of the projectile and of the obstacle. For example, a soft material like wood results in a wider ricochet angle and lower velocity compared to a hard metal steel. It's just going to bounce right off, right, at a, at a quick angle. Moreover, the model can replicate the behavior of projectiles hitting water. Watch this. It occurs when a particular impact angle is consistently maintained. If the angle exceeds, the object doesn't bounce off the surface of the water. It's going to enter it and slow way down and, and be nothing, right? Insane. So that's the ballistics, man. I, I, it's crazy. Let's go ahead and go on to the recoil control. You know, this is was kind of vague a lot, but they're, you know, they're kind of showing us now. They showed a real life image of a guy shooting, his name's Steel Slapper, shooting a weapon, and you can kind of see his sight picture diminish from 
you know, the chamber going back, you know, the kick, things like that. And they're trying to mimic that. So it's not so much the kick, it's maintaining your cheek, maintaining control of the weapon, you know, shot after shot. Here's the cool thing. For each shot that you fire, your weapon's weight's going to decrease, right? In the magazine, right? The, the ammo coming out of the magazine. Ammo's heavy, dudes. Like, it's heavy. So it's going to change how the recoil feels for every shot. Isn't that crazy? For instance, there can be up to a 10% difference in recoil. For an AR-15, depending on if you're shooting it with a full magazine or the last bullet, you know, the magazine's empty. That is crazy that they're taking this type of, you know, precise mathematical approach towards this game. In insane to me. So they showed us some weapon statistics and you know we have different things like accuracy, recoil control, arm stamina, manipulation, reload time based on what you put on it. We're looking at two Colt M4s, you know, pretty clear. Kind of more you put on it, you kind of get some stuff. The the, st the stats are going to change. A lot of people were worried that there might not be solid customization, but here you have it. They're laying it out in front of you and it's pretty clear. So knowing your body, they didn't really get touched too much on the health stuff. They they're talking a little bit about how the body's going to react to the uh the projectiles and the ammo right so your pmc is going to have its own structure organs bones everything they've tried to calculate for and accurately portraying injury based on cavities caused by the projectiles dude i've seen it it's crazy the type of detail that they're putting from like where you get hit how it's going to show up it's very good dude i don't know if it's in this it don't look like it's in this dev blog to, to some degree it is it's showing kind of where he gets hit and then how it shows up on his little scanner thing it's insane very detailed so you know exactly what's going on severe injuries like bleeding and damage to your organs are going to affect your body's characteristics and mind you're not going to be able to re you know react the same slower you're going to be off you're not going to be fresh you're going to there's all kinds of different stuff that these blunt force traumas and everything that you're taking from these bullets, even if you have armor on, right? It's going to matter. And that's, I haven't seen that much in games. So if I have armor plate carrier, whatever, that's great. But still how, how I'm taking the, the blunt force of stuff can, can really weaken me over time. It's going to change, change the mission, right? So we have to keep up with that stuff. It's going to cause you to make noise, you know, if you're hurt, potentially revealing yourself to enemies and things like that. And then if it's bad enough, you're bleeding and things like that, you're going to go into a coma, which they've already told us, you know, you're going to have to try to get some blood from someone, one of your teammates, so you, they can get you up and you can hopefully get out of there. But that's the system that they built, man. The the bullets, the, the ballistics, all the math and everything behind that are going to directly affect the human body of the person you're shooting. And then if you're getting shot, right, and you're going to have to analyze that you'll know pretty much what what type of round you got hit with so think about these things man like the types of the details they're adding like this it's gonna really give the game a lot of depth and a lot of playability man in gray zone warfare we aim to make every shot fired feel genuine all thanks to the extensive calculation and research behind it so that's huge man they talked to some professionals and stuff about how it affects the human body and they're putting it all together dude they're going that extra mile right? They're going that extra mile. That's what we'd like to see. So I'll probably, like I said, go dive in more on the pictures and maybe make some a little more in depth if, we're, if we need to push out some more content to get us through the week. We'll, we'll kind of see, right? So if you made it this far, guys, I really do appreciate it. Look, make sure you join the collective, our discord right now. Got everything you need in there. One stop shop. It's a group of solid guys, right? That are very passionate about FPS games. So we'd love to have you click the link below. We'll pick you up. Other than that, guys, make sure you follow my Twitch. I've started streaming again, but I appreciate y'all being here and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.